If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together. And make no mistake, united we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. We'll choose hope over fear, facts over fiction, fairness over privilege. I'm a proud Democrat, and I'll be proud to carry the banner of our party into the general election. So it's with great honor and humility I accept this nomination for President of the United States of America. There's not a single thing American workers can't do. And where cost doesn't prevent young people from going to college and student debt doesn't crush them when they get out. With the child care and elder care system that makes it possible for parents to go to work and for the elderly to stay in their homes with dignity. With an immigration system that powers our economy and reflects our values. And with newly empowered labor unions. They're the ones that built the middle class. History has thrust one more urgent task on us. Will we be the generation that finally wipes out the stain of racism from our national character? I believe we're up to it. I believe we're ready. Kamala and I both draw from our families. That's where we get our strength. For Kamala, it's Doug and their families. For me, it's Jill and ours. I've said many times, no man deserves one great love in his life, let alone two. But I've known two. After losing my first wife in that car accident, Jill came into my life. And she put our family back together. She's an educator, a mom, a military mom, and an unstoppable force. If she puts her mind to it, just get out of the way. <laughs> She's going to get it done. She was a great second lady, and I know she'll make a great first lady for this nation. She loves this country so much. And I'll always have the strength that can only come from family. Hunter, Ashley, all our grandchildren, my brothers, my sister, they give me courage. They lift me up while he's no longer with us. Bo inspires me every day. Bo served our nation in uniform. A year in Iraq, a decorated Iraqi war veteran. So I take very personally and I, the profound responsibility of serving as commander in chief. The tragedy of where we are today is it didn't have to be this bad. Just look around. It's not this bad in Canada or Europe or Japan or almost anywhere else in the world. And the president keeps telling us the virus is going to disappear. He keeps waiting for a miracle. Well, I have news for him. No miracle is coming. And after all this time, the president still does not have a plan. Well, I do. If I'm your president on day one, we'll implement the national strategy I've been laying out since March. We'll develop and deploy rapid tests with results available immediately. We'll make the medical supplies and protective equipment that our country needs. And we'll make them here in America so we will never again be at the mercy of China or other foreign countries in order to protect our own people. We'll make sure our schools have the resources they need to be open, safe, and effective. We'll put politics aside. We'll take the muzzle off our experts so the public gets the information they need and deserve. Honest, unvarnished truth. They can handle it. We'll have a national mandate to wear masks, not as a burden, but as a patriotic duty to protect one another. This is a life-changing election. This will determine what America is going to look like for a long, long time. Character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency, science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. Who we are as a nation, 
what we stand for, and most importantly, who we want to be. That's all on the ballot. In times as challenging as these, I believe there's only one way forward. As a united America, a united America, united in our pursuit of a more perfect union, united in our dreams of a better future for us and for our children, united in our determination to make the coming years bright. Are you ready? I believe we are. This is a great nation. We're a good and decent people. For Lord's sake, this is the United States of America. And there, there's never been anything we've been able to accomplish when we've done it together. This is our moment. This is our mission. May history be able to say, that the end of this chapter of American darkness began here tonight as love and hope and light join in the battle for the soul of the nation. And this is a battle we will win and we'll do it together. I promise you. Thank you and may God bless you and may God protect our troops.